Listeners and subscribers, hope all is well. California Carter coming at you with some content. Before we get started today, I think we're going to play this clip. They want your DNA. Introduced in the state Senate would create the largest DNA database in the country right here in Arizona. And it would force thousands, maybe millions of people to give over their DNA and personal information to the state. Team 12's William Pitts has more on what the bill does and who it can affect. Right now, certain people like criminals have to give their DNA to a law enforcement database. But if SB 1475 goes through, a lot of other people like foster parents, teachers, and even real estate agents would have to give their DNA to a state database. It's hardly surprising after the Hacienda healthcare case where the suspected rapist of an incapacitated patient was arrested after testing his DNA. But this bill would go beyond making doctors and nurses give their DNA. The bill says the state would collect DNA from anyone who has to be fingerprinted for their job, anyone who has to be fingerprinted by law, anyone who works or volunteers for the cops, anyone given a court-ordered paternity test, and anyone who dies after the bill passes. So that includes everyone, from home inspectors and real estate agents to bus drivers and dentists. And the samples would be linked to your name, social security number, birth date, and address. The public would not have access to it, but it could be accessed by anyone doing, quote, legitimate research. There are privacy concerns because DNA isn't just about finding criminals anymore. One little DNA swab can tell you everything about a person's medical history, even their genetics. These databases aren't always 100% secure. Just one year ago, there was a large breach where 92 million users saw their DNA um, information exposed to the public. The ACLU of Arizona opposes the bill over privacy concerns, not just hacking concerns. No other state has ever created a large DNA database like this. Neither has the federal government. We believe that collecting DNA uh, samples indiscriminately violates the Fourth Amendment. It, it violates people's rights to privacy. It rights, violates people's right to be safe and have their information protected. The government has never created a database this extensive. The bill sponsored by Republican State Senator David Livingston of Peoria, who did not respond to calls for comment. It'll be heard Wednesday morning. William Pitts, 12 News. All right, so there you go. You have this uh, video clip here, this news. And what's really interesting is when these uh, bills or legislations are introduced to states, it, it, it doesn't often stay contained to just one state. As instances we see similar with California, they're often used as a model state to expand to uh, the rest of the nation, if not um, entirely, you know, state by state. Then we start to see it, at least in the, the core states with big populations. And, and I just thought this was interesting because here in Arizona, we had that Hacienda, you heard in the clip there, that Hacienda rape case where uh, DNA was collected there as well. But um, uh, not only with that, but with the Golden State Killer. Right. Ancestry and 23andMe and other popular companies that offer genetic testing pledge on Tuesday to be upfront when they share users' data with researchers, hand it over to police, or transfer it to other companies, a move aimed at addressing consumers' mounting privacy concerns. Under the new guidelines, the companies say they would obtain consumers' separate express consent before turning over their individual genetic information to businesses and other third parties, including insurers. They also said that they would disclose the number of law enforcement requests they receive each year. So yes, the reality of DNA being involved uh, with law enforcement and these companies who obtain your DNA, that is a reality. Let's go on. The new commitments come roughly three months after local investigators used a DNA comparison service to track down a man police believed to be the Golden State Killer who allegedly raped and killed dozens of women in California in the 1970s and 1980s. Now, I'm sure you heard about this in 2018 when they used this man's DNA uh, to track him down to these crimes, right? Investigators identified the suspect using a decades-old DNA sample obtained from the crime scene, which they uploaded to GED Match. A crowdsourced database of roughly a million distinct DNA sets shared by volunteers. Investigators said they did not need a court order before using GED Match, sparking fresh fears that users' biological data might be too easy to access and could up and could end up in the wrong hands without additional regulation on the fast-growing, already popular industry. But get this: yet adherence to the rules is voluntary. 
While the policy offers users of participating sites added new protections at a time of great uncertainty, it does not have the force of law, said Justin Brookman, the director of consumer privacy and technology policy at Consumers Union. Okay, so this doesn't have any teeth, okay? These industries, uh, there, there's no teeth to these industries being able to uh, give their, your DNA data to uh, researchers or insurers or uh, law enforcement. Yes, this, this is indeed a reality, and it just puts the question out there, uh, should we be readily giving over all of our data? We know that uh, with data breaches from you know, tax sites and uh, other attacks like that, banks as well. Uh, this is a different type of data that's being targeted here. And it's very interesting, the narrative that's evolving around it, right? Arizona bill could force you to give your DNA to a state database. It's just very interesting, the things they're pining for nowadays. Anyway, I thought I'd put that out there. Take care of yourselves out there.